With the integration between Tableau software and Adobe Analytics inside of Adobe Marketing Cloud, digital marketers now have the capability to do all of the powerful things they could do inside of Adobe Analytics, as well as now an easy workflow for taking data out of Adobe Analytics and using Tableau to mash it up against other data sets. Let's explore. If I'm a marketer, I'm already familiar with using Adobe Marketing Cloud to do all sorts of things related to tracking hits and page views and revenue and all these sort of things I need to do on my website. Simply logging into Adobe Marketing Cloud, putting in my credentials, and signing in gets me into the familiar and easy to use web interface for Adobe Marketing Cloud. And inside of here, I've got tons of capabilities. But as a digital marketer, sometimes it's often the case that I want to take this data and actually mash it up with things like sales data or maybe product data or registration, things that potentially aren't inside of Adobe Marketing Cloud. Or maybe I want to offer this up for other people inside the organization outside of the marketing team to be able to use. This easy new workflow that we have inside of Adobe Marketing Cloud to get that data into Tableau makes that so easy. So inside of the Adobe Marketing Cloud reports and data warehouse capability, there's always been the ability to request information, get a data dump, so to speak. Well, now I can simply say, OK, I want some Adobe Web Data. I can specify my time frame. Let's just pull this out for a year. There we go. And I can choose the granularity of my report. And then I can just quickly and easily choose the different breakdowns and metrics that I want inside of Adobe Marketing Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab some things like pages and products, all of the great data that inside of Adobe Marketing Cloud, Adobe Analytics, I've got right at my fingertips. Let's say I want time spent on page, times per visits, and let's do visitor ID. That looks pretty good. And then inside of metrics, maybe I want some stuff like, oh, I don't know, page views. And let's go ahead and take a look at unique visitors and then visits. Perfect. Now that I've kind of built out my report and I'm getting a nice little preview here, Quickly and easily, I can scroll down here, and the critical new integration is this little option right here, Advanced Delivery Options, where all I need to do is instead of asking for a CSV, I'm going to ask for a Tableau Data Extract, Tableau Format, or TDE. And I'll call this Adobe Web Data. Adobe Web Data. There we go. And I've got the option to email it or FTP it to myself. I'm going to go ahead and choose email, click send, and then I'll come back down here and request this report. And this report is going to run in the background, and I can check on its status in the request manager dialog. I can see that it is scheduled to run. It might take a minute or two to get off to me, and then it's going to show up in my email. Okay, it's been a few minutes, and in my email, I've gotten this great little email from Adobe Analytics, and it's got my Adobe Web Data that I asked for. It comes in a nice little zip file, and when I unpackage that, and I think I've got that now all sitting on my desktop here, it comes out as a nice little Tableau data extract file. And so this is what it looks like uh, as a raw little file here out inside the zip file. And the thing I think is interesting is if you take a look at the properties, and 134 kilobytes versus this is that exact same data in CSV format at about 353 KB. So this is a big deal for some folks who are exporting a lot of data. Bringing it out as a Tableau data extract, in addition to being really easy, also makes it compressed. And I could do this. Let's just drag this right into Tableau Desktop. And just like that, I'm able to ingest that information straight into Tableau Desktop and start asking questions of my data. So let's do that. Um, let's pretend I am either a digital marketer who is taking this information and maybe going to mash it up with something else, or maybe I'm outside the marketing team altogether and I'm just exploring this data set. And I'm looking at page views. Uh, maybe I want to see what that looks like over time. Very straightforward Tableau Desktop drag and drop interface. I can crack down from year to quarter to month to, I can even think, go down to day. Let's make this entire view so we can see what we're looking at. And just like that, I've got a pretty 
interesting view of my website history. You know what, let's actually customize this view a little bit. Maybe I just want to see this one big continuous line for a day. And I'll make this an area chart. So just like that, it's pretty obvious that I'm getting some really dynamic site activity. And if this is, let's say it looks like I've got products data here. So this is, you know, I'm selling products on my website. Um, you know, I'm getting big hits maybe due to promotions or things like that. And if I ever wanted to explore a specific peak, so to speak, here, I can just look at the underlying data inside of Tableau and I can see all the different visitor IDs and what pages they came in on and what they did, how much time they spent. It's really interesting to me. If I ever needed to do something like, if I just wanted to know what the average was for each time spent on here over the last year, I can just quickly draw an average line. So I can get a baseline, okay, how big are these peaks, right, and how low are these valleys inside of my page views over the last year for my website. So that's pretty cool. Um, maybe I'm really curious, though, to take this data and compare it to some product sales data that I have totally unrelated to anything I had inside of Adobe Analytics. I know I've got this data somewhere. Let's see if I can go find it. Microsoft Excel. Oh, here it is. So if it's on my desktop, Adobe product sales. First sheet, and I'm going to connect live to that Excel data. And just like that, I started with my Adobe Analytics data from Adobe Marketing Cloud, and now I've got this second data source totally separate. You'll notice here they share a common data field. I've got this visitor ID. If we look inside, this is what it looks like. Well, because of that, I can do things like this and say, okay, if I'm talking about page views and I go to my second data source, you'll see here that Tableau is easily able to connect and blend, we call that data blending, these two pieces of information together based on visitor ID as the common field. And I can simply now drag and drop sales out. And if I'm comparing sales to page views, right, does the more someone look at my site, the more page views they rack up, does that influence how much they buy? Well, let's find out. Let's just take visitor ID and drop that onto detail. So it definitely seems like there's a trend here that the more page views, the longer someone's spending on my site is correlated to the amount of money they're spending. I've got this dimension, time spent per visit. Let's see if that actually bears the truth. Ah, look at that. Okay, so if I look at group A, which is less than a minute, versus group B, versus group C there, five to 10 minutes, group D, right? We're seeing these groups migrate up and to the right. And sure enough, right, group E, 30 to 60 minutes, they're spending the most money on my site. Let's make that just a little clearer to view by making these circles. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that a little transparent and make the size a little bigger. Perfect, just like that. So this is a really powerful insight for me, using data right out of Adobe Analytics inside of Tableau and then mashed up with some sales data that I had from, you know, maybe Salesforce or you name it, right? However else I'm tracking sales inside the company, registrations, trials, whatever, I can see that the longer I can get people to spend on my site correlates to the amount of money they're spending. If I just wanted to do a one more really simple data mashup, I want to see all of my products and I wanted to see for each one of them how much we're selling. If I didn't have that in Adobe Analytics for some reason, um, I might be able to quickly and easily just sort that and there we go. Again, and I'm setting you know Tableau to talk to both my web data right out of Adobe Analytics as well as use the sales information inside that Excel. I'll just clean up this dirty data right here, exclude. And now I've got three really interesting insights related to page views over time, related to two different data sources talking to views and sales to understand, you know, how people are buying more things, and then a very straightforward breakdown by product of total sales. I want to put all those views together. So I'm going to build a quick little dashboard here, which Tableau uses to combine all of the sheets that we've created and put them all in one spot. And I'm just going to take that first sheet I built related to page views over time and drag it out. And then I'm going to take that second sheet, which is that scatter plot. I'll drag it down here. And I'm going to take that last sheet, which is just that really simple little bar chart, and put it right there. And I think what I actually want to do now is create additional interactivity inside of 
this dashboard because my end goal, maybe let's say as an analyst outside of the marketing team or even inside the marketing team, is ultimately to show other people what I found using data from you know Adobe Analytics and this other sales data. So I'm going to format this just a little bit easy to do inside of a Tableau dashboard, inside of Tableau desktop, and then I'm going to create a quick filter based on products. Um, I am going to say, you know what, I want to see additional information here based on if I'm selecting products in and out, how do things change. Let's go ahead and close all, and I could say, you know what, I want this to be, I don't know, um, a wild card match, so that I might say, show me only diamond. And there we go. So that's pretty cool. I can do that. Um, maybe I want to provide a filter for my time trend that lets me quickly and easily select which dates I'm looking at. And I'm going to move these things around so they're a little easier to understand. And then there's already some really interesting interactivity based on the highlighting for this. You know what would be really powerful is if I could have this really simple bar chart that I've created around products actually talk to other parts of this dashboard. So maybe I want to use the sheet itself as a filter. If I want to see just for, you know, Onyx Thai Pen. Oh, simply by clicking on the sheet, I'm now looking at only those customers and the page views versus sales scatter plot that we looked, as well as when that traffic happened on our site. So for whatever was happening, March 12th to March 13th, that is when we must have been running some promotion or doing something else, causing a big influx of traffic, and people focused on buying those specific products. I could do the same for Silver Ring. I could hold control and look at Silver Ring and Silver Shoe at the same time, and get additional information just by hovering over each one of these dots right here. What we've been able to do in just a couple clicks, connecting directly to pull down information to Tableau Desktop from Adobe Marketing Cloud, Adobe Analytics, using that Tableau data extract, finding interesting insights about our website, and then inside of Tableau Desktop, even mashing up additional data from, you know, again, could be anything, Salesforce, it could be some sort of CRM system, it, you know, any kind of data you can really think of, Tableau with the ability to bring it in, and simply and quickly blending those together and creating new and powerful insights.